Howdy crew. Welcome. Thought I'd bring you along for the ride. We are done with our axle extensions. I know that I mentioned I uh, broke the 2.5 millimeter drill bit yesterday. Uh, and I had to wait till Friday to get a new one, but I got creative. I took the 2 millimeter drill bit, I went ahead and drilled these. I got in much closer with my eyes while I was drilling, pushed with two hands, actually it punched through a lot easier. Once that was done, I decided to take the broken 25 millimeter drill bit. I've been working on sharpening drill bits lately. Not that that's pretty or anything, but I ground it down to a rounded tip. Then I took it to the grinder wheel and I tried to sharpen it at the proper angle as best as possible. And then, sure enough, I was able to punch 2.5 right through and make these holes a little bigger. So now the pin fits, at least on one of them anyways. And uh, I thought I'd show it to you. So I took the wheel off. I took the former, this is a 30 millimeter extension. Okay, so normally it sits just like that. You could see it down on this side. This piece right here goes into the wheel. Show you that over here. Here's the wheel. Giant mother. Look at it compared to the size of my hand. Okay, so that's how you that's how you get in your turn there. Grabs. These are starting to strip out my plastic wheels, uh, axial wheels. I can see that a little bit. So these should work better. And that's just gonna go in there. This is the 17 millimeter grab. Got a pin in there so it can't turn on the steel shaft. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. And uh, check out the level of extension we're getting out of this. It's huge. I'm getting an extra 24 millimeters, so just about one inch of additional driving width left to right, right here that you can see from the pinhole to the pinhole. Sorry if that's not in focus. So, uh, see if I didn't lose the pin here and uh, set this camera up and we'll put it on and see what it looks like. I have to edit out that license plate frame. Yeah, I'm going to have it. Anyway, so these slide on nice. They seem pretty reasonably precise. You have to forgive me, I'm going blind in my old years. Probably just use a piece of what you call it? Tape to hold that pin in. Voila! It's on there. Boomba! Seems every bit as snug as the uh, anodized aluminum bits that you get from eBay or wherever. Put that hand tight. Might be too wide, I don't know, might have to take them down a bit, but I can always just like, you know, trim a little off the end, redrill a hole, and shorten these up as much as I want, or my thoughts were even better, I might be able to just like have them be adjustable, keep them 55s, and continue threading down the line, and then bring the zinc bolt down further, Bring this down further, repin this, and then you've got the ability to like drop it down, pin it, have it be short, or bring it all the way out to the full 55 extension, and you keep the full length. And you don't have to cut steel again. You only have to drill pinholes. You might all be like, it's just a tiny little steel tube to cut. What's the big deal? And I know, but it makes a mess, and it's a pain in my butt, and I just have rudimentary garage tools, so drum roll, please. There you go, kids. That's how it's going to look. A lot wider. I was just about right. It's going to be right at the right where I wanted it, you know, kind of cut off right there. That should get a lot better tippage left to right. No idea how well that's going to hold up. I mean, as a steel rod, I have no concerns considering 
cheap. I don't want to call it cheap, but, you know, 6061 anodized aluminum is strong, but nothing to write home about compared to steel. At least not when I drill it, not when I bend it, and not when I squeeze it with tools anyways. So, if this was holding up, and I mean, that's about the same width right there at its skinniest point, which is actually probably at the threads, then I really think that, that, that steel is not going to bend. If anything, we're going to get troubles in here at the knuckles, right? Uh, these are 4 millimeter hardened steel 12.9s, so that's excellent stuff, and this is hard anodized aluminum, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not, not a hundred percent. I think that the bearings inside here are going to fail. I did buy a brass rod of that same bearing size and diameter so that I could cut little sleeves and put them in there and have it be a sleeve bearing instead for the steering. Cause I mean, it's not like it's turning left to right very much. It's just 40 degrees of steering. So it's not like you need a lot of bearing. I don't think, but I'm not sure. So, if those bearings fail quickly and the steering seizes, we're going to try a brass sleeve rod. There's a brass bushing in there already, so it would be brass on brass. Maybe that would work. I don't know. I don't know. But we can always go back. So, if this is too wide and it doesn't work, or if I catch it on every single rock in the garden because I'm so widened out here, then uh, maybe it'll be no good. I think it should look badass, but I don't know. Maybe it'll look stupid, too. Let's get the other ones on and... Uh, Pause this here and I'll show you. Come back and show you. It's definitely taking me a little while. Hard to get the pins to line up. Front's done. It's going to move on to the rear. You can see the width difference. Picking up two inches. One inch on either side. Let's see it fit in there. Pin is snug on this side. It's a little bit loose on this side. Uh, I did notice the new RC4WD TT uh, XVDs are a three millimeter pin instead of a 2.5 on my old um, TTR CVDs, which are the exact same design like TTR. Thunder Tiger Racing must have sold the design to RC4WD. But anyways, they increased the pin size. Not sure how I feel about that. Like a bigger pin. Don't like a bigger hole in my carbon steel shaft, axle shaft. But these things have been super bulletproof over the years. So, like them. I'm going to keep going. I'll show you the rear when I get it done. Maybe take it out for a quick little spin. Okay, the rear pins are in. A little bit of pounding on that side. Let's see what they look like when they're when the wheels aren't on just gonna put the wheels on and then we're gonna drive it and see should be able to go with a further steering angle because before the tires were running into here now i'll be able to go to the maximum angle steer and uh, that'll help because of the wider stance it's not going to steer as well anyway so pause you again there's a different scenery for you. Drum roll, please. Ba boom. It's done. Wide body. Wide stance. Look at that. That bad boy is wide. Tires all the way out from the edges, just like I was hoping for. If I let some of the air out, they'll be even wider. But let's uh, let's do a measurement. As you know. From other videos, it is a 24 inch wheelbase, and the truck is about 37 inches long. And, uh, we'll get you. Let's see, you can see that's not sticking out of any, right? Okay. Over to the other side, ooh, 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 17 inches wide with the pizza cutters. Like I said, if I let these airs out, air, air down the tires halfway, I'll probably pick up another half inch of width on each tire, ultimately with a little bulge down here. 
and uh, it would be approaching 18 inches wide. Put the tip over on it should be way better. Let's just put you down and try that out real quick. I'd say so. It's just wanting to go right there. So that's pretty good. I don't have any direct measurement before, but let's go drive it real quick. I don't have a lot of time handy, but we'll see what it does. Pause you until we get to some rocks. Hey, you may as well see it driving a little bit. I have to one hand it. I don't have, I broke my camera mount. Frustratingly. Come on, monster. Let's go. Come on. Let's go have some fun. All right, I'm at 70% uh, max throttle here. I don't want to break anything right out of the gates. And one handed, which I've not done very much of, but I did get one of those you know, triggers. Oh, forgot to turn the drag brake on. That would be helpful. This is very tricky driving one handed. I have to admit, how do people do it? My knee's been bugging me lately too, so how much I go into these rocks is questionable. Uh, I ordered 55T lathe motors. I feel like these 35 T's just don't have all the torque I want when I want it. Able to wheel up sideways a little better. Do some sideways wheeling since that's what we were trying to make better, anyways. Don't think I can get over that big rock right there. Gotta sort of keep an eye on my dog here, too. This is gonna wanna go over right here. We're at the limits. I love it so far. Not too bad on the extra width causing me to hang up on too many rocks. Gonna go! It wants to go! It would have gone, I think, formerly with the narrower stance. So, I'm already seeing some improvement, if you ask me. Flattens out right here. getting hit right there. Good thing I built it sturdy. It's got it going on, folks. I'm happy. I like it. I don't care if you like, comment, or subscribe. Those aren't things you have to do with this channel. Just come here, watch the video, and enjoy. How about that for a rare one-off YouTube experience? I mean, you can if you want, but by no means will it make any difference in my life one way or another. <laughs> no offense. Big rocks be a tumble. Oh, my outdoor light's taking damage there. Can't be doing that. 
in old shape as it is. collect my dog from this ditch. Oh, I gotta tell you, it looks way light, wider in person than it does on camera. Now that I made it wider, I'm into it. I don't think we can dust this bad boy right here. She's big. Peace out. Love and peace for all.